All right, so we're going to do a quick demonstration on the Oster wine bottle opener. It's an electric opener. I love it, and I've seen some mixed reviews online on this opener, so I want to kind of share with you some of the pros and cons of it and how to get around the cons. So, first thing is, comes with its own handy uh, foil cutter. I'm going to cut the uh, foil off of both of these bottles. And I have two bottles here because one of the complaints on this opener is that it doesn't do a good job with um, the. You see how easy it is to get the foil off there. Doesn't do well with synthetic corks. Is, is one of the complaints that you hear about this opener. So I'm going to show you how to get around the issue of the difficulty of uh, not so much removing the synthetic cork, but extracting the synthetic cork from the opener. So first, let's start with the cork one because it works perfect 100% of the time with the cork. So just center the bottom of the opener, that's where the screw is. Put a little bit of pressure, and I, I put my hand around the base of the bottle, and then I steady it like that and keep it uh, ready to go. And then what you'll see, oh, out of frame there, Press down on this. It's a rocker switch. Press down to extract or to uh, extract the the cork from the bottle, and then press the up to extract the cork from the bottle opener. So here we go. Center it. Kind of wrap my hand. Drill down pressure. Once it gets started, I drop down. I hold the bottle here. Otherwise, the bottle spins. All right. So you hold the bottle. A little bit of up pressure, and then it pops out. Now, to extract it, as I said, you hit this top button, and here's what happens. The cork comes right out, and you have it where you can put it back in the bottle if you need to recork the bottle. So that's your cork bottle. Now let's do a synthetic um, cork. A lot of you, Barefoot, Sutter Home, a lot of your wines use the synthetic cork. Uh, and most bottle openers, not an issue, but this one tends to have an issue. No, Hopefully, it works about half the time the way it should. The other half, you have to do something else. So I'll, hopefully, it's not going to go right. So same thing. Once it gets started, hold the bottom of the bottle. Little up pressure. Boom, out it comes. Then when you go to extract it, see, it's going to work perfect. Anyways, what you do if that doesn't come out, because usually what happens, well, let's see if we can get it back in there. All right, what happens, it just sits there and spins. It won't come out. If you just put a little side pressure on the cork, then you can grab it and it comes right out. Not a big deal. And I tell you, this thing is quick, it's easy. I just store it in the base and leave it plugged in and leave it on my little dry bar here. And it sit, sits there and it's ready to use when I, whenever I'm ready for it. So hopefully that's helpful to you. Uh, I would highly recommend you buy one of these things. They're, they're, they're very inexpensive, available on Amazon. Prime members get it in two days. So, love this opener. Hope you give it a try.